Hi, my name is Jan Turkle, and I'd like to welcome you to our webinar, Fight Cellulite. Um, I think that um, almost all of us, uh, or at least most females, have uh, usually a spot or two where uh, we find that rippling skin uh, annoying, and it's nice to know that there are some options to treat it. Um, the question is, what is cellulite? And as we see a, an image here that is kind of showing the irregularities or dimpling in that superficial layer of the fatty tissue just beneath the skin. Um, cellulite is something that basically tends to be more of a female phenomenon, and I think that's because there's a belief that our little fibrous septations or little fibrous tissues that attach to the back of the dermis and that go through the fatty lobules or little bits of fat that are right beneath the skin tend to be at 90 degree angles with the skin so that when they contract or pull down they create some indentations and you kind of create some highs and lows in the overlying skin. And so a lot of the cellulite treatments now are aimed at trying to disrupt those little fibrous uh, connectors and release them allowing that dimpling there, that indenting to come up. It's kind of like, you know, if you've got um, pleats that have been uh, sewn into your uh, couch, you know, uh, where they've uh, tried to create um, tufting, if you will. If you went in and cut all those uh, cords that are pulling the tufts down, your couch would be flat. And um, probably for the couch, that's not a good idea, but for the backs of our thighs, it, it might be okay. Um, and so there's lots of treatments that are kind of aimed at doing that. And the question has been raised, well, why don't we see that on men? Well, there's some thought that the fibrous septations in men are not 90 degrees to the back of the dermis, but they come at kind of funny angles. And they think that, you know, some of these treatments that we perform that release these little septations allow, when they do heal, they kind of heal back at the funny angles, more like a male pattern, and that's probably why we're not seeing a recurrence in the area when we release these tissues. Um, as we said, it's a structural problem beneath the skin and it's affected by aging, hormones, genetics, and weight changes. Um, the, um, the thinner the skin becomes, the more relaxed the skin is, uh, the dermis thins with aging and hormone changes. And again, genetics, there are some people that just normally have thicker or thinner dermis. Um, obviously the cellulite becomes more of an issue. Um, Selfina is a system <clears throat> aimed at the dimples um, in cellulite and we'll kind of show you. Um, basically if you have these little indentations that are pretty distinct and obvious, Selfina has a um, system where a little tiny microfine blade is placed beneath the tissues and it's um, used to release those areas and allows that skin to pop back up like we were talking about before. Uh, it's been FDA approved for the buttock and thigh areas of adult females. Um, the primary structure are those connective bands woven throughout the fat and the tight bands pulling the skin down create the puckering and so like a rubber band under tension once it's released the skin kind of bounces back to smooth itself out in as little as three days and they have results that have uh, extended past two years. Uh, this is kind of a cartoon version, I guess, of kind of these septations. You know, you've got the little fat lobules um, between, you know, these little fibrous septations. And so what they've done is they've gone in and released it and they think they come back at a little different angles now and kind of help to allow that skin to look a little smoother. Um, the side effects are um, temporary soreness, tenderness, and bruising. Um, basically what you've done is you've placed a little blade under the skin and, and released things, and so there's going to be a little bruising. The device itself creates a little bit of suction and kind of pulls and tents the skin up, and so it kind of creates, if you will, almost like little hickeys. Um, those go away fairly quickly. Um, this is done under local anesthetic. About the, the most uncomfortable part is the numbing process with the local. Once it's numb, to release the little uh, fiber septations is not painful at all. Uh, and this is some examples. Again, as you see, it's not going to take care of all of the, um, of the uh, septations. Um, 
or all of the irregularities, it's going to go after more of the dimples. So, you know, some of the deeper dimples that you can see are released, you know. And the reason this is taken kind of in a shadowy picture is so that you can actually see the irregularities. A lot of times if you have a really high flash, nobody looks bad in that, you know, if they're overlit. So, um, again, that's why they're taken with the the diminished flash. And I think you can appreciate, you know, some of the, the deeper dimples have been released and improved. Cellulase is using a little different idea, but again, kind of the same overall concept. Instead of actually using a little uh, blade that goes under the skin, uh, we're going under the skin with a laser. And we're using laser energy to release those bands. But we're also using the laser to heat the back of the dermis and try to stimulate uh, dermal um, repair, collagen synthesis, and try to thicken the dermis and make it look a little better. And again, the results have been holding upwards of two years on this as well. Kind of the same depiction here. They're showing the laser releasing those little fibrous bands here. It's kind of destroyed one. And then you're using the laser on the back of the skin to kind of help tighten and hopefully thicken the collagen and make better, um, thicker skin. Um, again, soreness and bruising. Uh, we use a local anesthetic, and once the areas have been numbed, the actual process itself is not terribly uncomfortable, but obviously getting you numb is uh, the most uncomfortable part. And both of these are done in the office. I think that cellulase, you know, is not necessarily aimed at the dimples, but sort of that overall, you know, kind of ripply cellulite. And I think you can appreciate some improvements here. You know, I think you can see um, with the shadowing that she just doesn't have the, the dimpling that she did in the first set of photos. And again, does it fix every little iota? No, but I think you can appreciate overall um, much smoother, much less dimply. Um, not great for a real deep indentation. Uh, that might be something that Selfina might help, but I think sometimes when it's a, that deep, it almost maybe needs some fat transfer to fix that. Again, um, not completely gone, but certainly improved by at least a grade or two of the amount of skin dimpling. Um, what we really don't have yet is any device that tightens the skin to the degree that we would all love. I think, you know, if you could take some kind of device and then go over this area, I think it could be an absolute home run. I would say this is at least a second or a third base hit um, in terms of the improvement, but I think if you could tighten that skin just a little bit more, that would really be ideal. But I think you can appreciate, you know, the improvement in the contour of the, the texture anyway of the cellulite. And I, again, not a perfection, but certainly uh, a major improvement in the, the texture. At this point, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email them to us at drturkle at turklemd.com or feel free to call us 317-848-0001. Uh, thank you very much for your kind attention.